Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking all about the Acrotech GXP ball head. Um, now, before I get into today's video, I wanna quickly thank my good friends at Hunts Photo and Video for actually sending me over this product um, to talk about and to review. Um, I do wanna mention though, that they're not paying me to make this video um, and they're not telling me to say certain things about this product. This video is comprised of my opinions and my personal experiences using the Acrotech GXP ball head for the past two months. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it to be useful. And uh, well, let's just jump right into the video then. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing I want to touch base on with the Acrotech GXP ball head is some of the quick specs. So the height of this thing is around 4.2 inches. The base diameter is 2.4 inches. The ball, the sphere of the, of the ball head is around 1.5 inches in diameter as well. And of course, the top of it is an Arca Swiss base. Now, the most important specs. The weight of this thing is one pound, which is just extraordinary it's absolutely fantastic that this thing it weighs only one pound and what's even better than that is that it can hold up to 50 pounds while weighing one pound so it, it's it's just absolutely amazing so not only are you getting a super lightweight ball head but you're also getting something that's lightweight and super sturdy and durable with the fact that it weighs or sorry that doesn't weigh 50 pounds the fact that it holds up to 50 pounds so you know you don't have to worry about putting anything too heavy on this ball head it's gonna hold it So those are some of the quick specs. Um, now the next thing I want to kind of touch base on are some of the special features that you know not every ball head has. So let's uh, let's just jump into that. All right. So the first feature I want to kind of touch base on is the fact that you can turn this into um, a panorama head. So it can convert into a panorama head. Um, now I have a few kind of things I want to talk about with this feature. Um, but basically how you do it is you unscrew the mount up here, you flip the, the, the head over, you put it on here, then you obviously screw this onto your tripod. Um, and basically what this then allows you to do is it allows you to level out the, um, the ball head itself with the ball um, instead of having to level your tripod. And then you can just use the panoramic base up here um, and you can get a nice level panorama. And that's the first problem is the fact that it's level. <laughs> you might be like, well, Corey, duh, that's kind of the whole point, right? To level out your, your tripod. Yes, but it's level in two um, dimensions where potentially you might only want it to be level in one, right? So basically, you know, let's say you're, you're in the mountains, right? You're in a valley and you want to photograph these gorgeous mountains with beautiful light um, above you. And to do that, you kind of have to tilt your camera upwards, right? and you want to take a panorama. The problem with this is you can't tilt it, uh, you know, you can't tilt your camera down or upwards whilst taking the panorama and getting a perfect kind of panorama because, you know, the ball itself is um, moving two axes versus one separate, right? So basically it only allows you to take panoramas that are 100% level in both uh, axes, both um, your, your tilt up and down and tilt left and right. Um, so, you know, depending on who you are, that could be a big issue. It may also not be. You can kind of, you know, kind of hack your way into it by using the, the, the level itself and just kind of estimating. It depends on who you are and depends on what you do. I personally don't do panoramas that often, so it's not a feature that I use a ton. But, you know, those things aside, the biggest con I have with it is its ease of, of doing, right, to convert the thing. For me personally, I've found it to be way faster to just unscrew my tripod legs and level my tripod with the tripod legs than having to unscrew my tripod, or sorry, unscrew the ball head off my tripod, then unscrew the base or the, the mount off the, off the tripod, flip it over, screw it back on, then screw the tripod head back on my tripod. <laughs> I know there's a lot of tripods, um, but, for me personally, that just seems like a, a, a hassle to do, especially when you're, you know, kind of in, in a situation where there's a ton of light and you got to do stuff quickly. You're going to probably drop something. Um, and it, for me, it's just uh, honestly, those kind of three things almost render it useless in my personal usage of the ball head. But of course, different people will see it in different ways, and that is 100% fine. I'm just giving my personal feedback and kind of my 
personal kind of usages of this and what I've just kind of experienced, sorry, experienced with it um, in total. Uh, I, ju I just want to quickly say, so there's no confusion, that everything I just talked about within that kind of three, two minute period um, was solely based on the converting to the panorama feature. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> now, with that being said, there are a couple of other kind of features that I want to talk about. The first one being is the fact that all of its markings on it are laser engraved, which basically means that they're not going to get scratched off. So they'll be there pretty much forever, right? So that's a super nice thing. Um, and I really appreciate them doing that. It just adds to the durability and the lifespan of the Acrotec GXP ball head. Now, another thing with this, this ball head is it does have a tension knob if you, if you want to use that. I personally don't use it just because it just, it doesn't really help me in any specific way. It's there if you need it, but I personally don't use it. Another thing to do with the knobs is the grip. The grip of these knobs is just fantastic, especially with the main tension ball knob right here. Um, it's not extraordinarily big, but the fact that it's uh, it has this nice kind of sturdy rubber um, and it's also in a geared shape just makes it very, very nice to use. And you can use it with gloves in cold conditions and wet conditions, anything. It's a very nice, uh, you know, series of knobs to use throughout this entire ball head. Um, and the last kind of feature I want to talk about is the bubble level. So I really like the placement of this bubble level. It's placed on the on the mount, super nice. So you can obviously see it when you're putting your camera on on the ball head. Um, so it's super helpful to get a nice level base here. What I wish it also had a bubble level, I wished it would have had a bubble level kind of on the base so you can kind of see the level of your tripod if you don't have a bubble level on your tripod. It's a, it's a small gripe and it's a small kind of con, but it is one if, if that's something that you would potentially want. It doesn't have one on the base where you can see if your tripod's actually level. Um, but with that being said, you know, it's, it's a small little feature that, it, you know, doesn't really matter. Now, the biggest, most important feature with this tripod head that I absolutely love is the fact that it has a hollow kind of open design. This does a few things. The first one is it makes it a lot lighter, right? If you compared it to a regular ball head that had, you know, all this material around the ball and, and this, Basically, it's just stripping away all of that that weight, that unnecessary weight, and it just creates a far lighter product um, and something that's just super durable and super lightweight at the same time. And the next thing that this allows it to do is it allows it to be extremely easy to clean and to maintain, once again, adding to the durability and the lifespan of this product. Because of course, if you can maintain something a lot easier, then it's gonna last longer. So all you gotta do is just dump this in water or you know spray it down or wipe it down and get all the dust and grime and dirt out of it um, and be good to go with kind of maintaining the ball head. Whereas if you had something that was encased, it would be a lot harder and nearly impossible. But yeah, so those are kind of some of the features that I wanted to kind of touch base on. Um, so, you know, between all of these features and you know everything I just talked about, it's all great, it's all fantastic, it's all awesome, right? But when it really comes down to it, the true performance comes when it comes to durability and stability. So that's what I wanna talk about next, and then I'm gonna end the video off with kind of my personal opinions and you know who I think this tripod head is for. Um, so with that being said, let's kind of, let's just dive into that. I think I'm gonna go outside and uh, have some fun with it one last time, and uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so now I kind of want to talk about the durability and the build quality of the Acrotec GXP ball head. Let me just start off by saying that you're not going to be disappointed when it comes to build quality and durability. This thing will last forever. I guarantee it. <laughs> um, so um, the, the first thing I want to mention is um, they do say that it is made of aircraft grade aluminum. I, I don't necessarily know what that means, but what I can say is that every time I've tested it out in, in rain and snow and windy conditions, it's been absolutely amazing. Now, I, I haven't been able to use it a ton um, in a lot of these um, more extreme conditions just because I really haven't had a lot of those conditions while using the, the, the tripod head. 
but I can say they've wor it's worked for me every single time. Um, and just the, the pure friction of this is just absolutely fantastic. Um, so, you know, you really can't go wrong when it comes to the durability of this thing. It's, it's not something you should be worrying about whatsoever. <laughs> So you know, when it comes to stability with the Acrotec GXP ball head, once again, just like the durability like we talked about, you're not gonna have an issue with it. 100% guarantee you're not gonna have an issue with the stability with this tripod head. Like we mentioned before, um, it can go up to 50 pounds of weight. It can hold up to 50 pounds, which is more than my tripod can hold. So, you know, if, yeah, if, that's, if that's not telling you anything, I, I don't know what will. Not to mention, I've also tested it with my Tamron 100 to 400 millimeter lens, and it works perfectly fine. Now, I don't have a tripod collar for this, which obviously will put even more strain on it. And once again, it works perfectly fine. In the rain, in the snow, in the wind it's it's you just can't beat this this tripod head when it comes to stability and uh durability is that even i don't know now my words are getting mixed up okay so last but certainly not least who is the acrotech gxp ball head for well in my opinion it is for any nature photographer any photographer in general who does a lot of hiking and a lot of adventure and a lot of exploration and wants something lightweight but also that can hold quite literally anything they throw at it, right? That's who this is for. It's also for someone who wants something that's durable and that will last a long time, decades even. That's who this ball head is for. Last but not least, it's for someone who can actually afford it. I know, th this, is, this is a fairly expensive tripod head. It's definitely not cheap. And the, th the thing is, is, you know, if you qualify for the things that I just talked about, you're definitely gonna get your money's worth. If you don't, if you don't necessarily care about having the lightest weight thing and having the most durable tripod head, then I don't think that you're gonna get your money's worth. You're gonna enjoy using it, you're gonna love the product, but I feel like it's just still too expensive for the person who isn't, you know, at that level that really wants to have the lightest thing and have the, you know, most durable tripod head. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a fun one to make and I really enjoyed actually using the product. So thanks again to my good friends at Hunts Foot and Video for sending it over. Um, I will have links in the description to um, the Acrotech GXP ball head um, that go to Hunts Photo and Videos store um, where you can buy it. Um, so if you guys are interested in it um, and you like the product, then you know you can go down there in the links and uh, purchase it from there. So nice and convenient. Um, anyways, uh, with that being said, you know I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Um, if you have any comments or questions or concerns or feedback, let me know in the comments down below. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, if you guys like this channel's content, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys, see ya. Bye bye. <laughs>